Good morning. We're right outside the Oceanside Pier and it's starting to rain, but you just missed it. 10 minutes ago, it was pouring and I know many are sitting on the couch cozy enjoying the rain this morning, but some have to drive in it. I mean, it is causing hazardous road conditions right now. My commute was from Claremont to Oceanside this morning and it was pouring around 4 a.m. causing so many spin outs on the road and we were actually heading over to Carlsbad to check on the hillsides, especially after that park fire. Many residents were concerned about mudslides and then we get the alert that there was a big rig accident at Harbor Drive on northbound five and according to CHP the driver of that big rig had jackknifed and he uh, was a hydroplane I mean there are so many puddles on the road but we want to keep in mind that if you're heading on the road this morning if you have to get out there drive cautiously slowly make sure your windshield wipers are working those roads are slick out there and we have a cruise across the county just kind of giving you a look because there's a lot of flood prone areas especially in that Mission Valley area and also some parts of North County, but we're right here at Oceanside Pier where it is sprinkling. I mean, like I said, like about 10 minutes ago, it was absolutely pouring, but I'll send it back to you. We are here just tracking this winter storm. Teresa, thanks for doing it. I'm glad you can put your umbrella down for a moment. It's a cute umbrella, by the way. With it may just be the uh, moment because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's off and on here, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Uh, from the North County to the South Bay now, this rain, of course, is widespread. And as we know, the South Bay gets issues when it comes to sewage, the pollution, anytime we get these, uh, you know, heavy storms coming through. Yeah, millions of gallons mm -hmm. of sewage seep into our waters uh, from Mexico as soon as we get these rains. And News 8's Chris Grow live in Imperial Beach where officials are concerned about the pollution. And then um, you had a visitor walk by the live shot here <laughs> a short time ago. Just give us an update on the dog real quick. Yeah, how's the dog? <laughs> Well, I, I can tell you that the weather is good enough to walk your dog, <laughs> okay. and we just met That's Otto, good to know. and he came right up, and like Jenny said, if, if a dog walks up to you and you don't pet it, then who are you, right? You're not a nice human being. So let's show you what we're looking at right now, guys. It, again, it is pretty calm out here in Imperial Beach weather-wise. You can see all the way out to TJ there. Uh, that's the concern though. After a rain like this, and uh, Netta and I were texting earlier, Imperial Beach saw about an inch of rain uh, so far. That's all going to spread that pollution. And we're already seeing, according to Mayor Sergio Dean, about 60 million gallons of sewage flowing from Tijuana uh, into Imperial Beach. Uh, the water's uh, always dealing with pollution. It's in the air as well, too. And look, we'll, we'll stay alive out here and we'll, we'll just kind of keep showing you guys the estuary. Uh, this has been a problem for years upon years. Last year, we heard, or actually two years ago now, geez, we heard that $300 million was being pumped into uh, uh, federal uh, stimulus to try to go ahead uh, and fix this issue, to, to put that money into, uh, you know, a, a program to try to get the pumps and things fixed. And things just haven't progressed as quickly as they want to. Now, here in the local level, uh, they are trying to push for both uh, a declaration of a uh, state of emergency here due to sewage, uh, as well as calling this a public health crisis, trying to speed things up and along. But in the meantime, residents still just having to deal with that smell, knowing that that pollution's out there, especially after a hard rain like this. Uh, hasn't been much flooding. This is normally an area where we see a lot of that uh, flooding occur. Uh, this standing water is really all subsided. If, if we had one of those time lapse going, you would just see that water slowly subsiding, slowly subsiding. Uh, but again, pollution, that remains the focus anytime we get rain here in IV. Eric Netta. Through the San Diego County area here, you can head to our News 8 app to view the interactive radar map, and you can also share with us the, uh, the, the photos that you get of the storm. We'd like to see where it looks like where you are at. Yes, of course, and uh, I think we're going to go to the next story here. Okay, the highly transmissible variant of COVID-19, first identified in South Africa, is now in the United States. Yeah, two people in South Carolina were diagnosed in different parts of the state, becoming the first known cases of the strain in the U.S., and get this, neither person had recently traveled, so that means someone else in that state gave it to them. 
The highly contagious UK variant is becoming more prevalent here in San Diego. County officials say at least one death has been tied to that particular strain. County officials also reported 1,489 new COVID cases for a 7% positivity rate out of the more than 22,000 tests. And COVID-related hospitalizations continue to decline, but the number of patients in the ICU remains the same at 408. We do have 69 new deaths to report, sadly, for a total of 2,534 COVID-related deaths in our county. Time now to check in on this storm, this atmospheric river, but it seems to have maybe crumbled a little bit. Yeah, weakening. Hey, yeah. I, I, we, like we were talking about, that's great news to mm -hmm. hear that we're seeing those showers subside and start to clear out. The problem on hand is that we are still going to see that spotty shower activity take place all the way through the afternoon and evening hours. That is across the county and especially inland is where we see the most trouble in the next several hours. Now take a look at what we have for your forecast today. Again, shower showers continue. Otherwise, if you're not seeing those showers, you're probably hanging on to a decent amount of clouds. Still a 10% chance of some thunderstorms. Again, that's pretty minimal, but we at least have that 10% shot. Uh, snow showers above 4,500 feet. Something to keep an eye on for sure. Uh, here's the view overhead. Low pressure is, of course, what's bringing all this wet weather to us. The atmospheric river, just basically a, a fire hose of water vapor is how we described it yesterday. Uh, going into the next several hours, this low pressure moves farther off to the east of us, clears out, and leaves us with generally dry conditions over overnight into tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, both very nice days. Uh, we're going to enjoy the sunshine shining through and then we get set up perfectly for the next round of wet weather, which will look very similar to what we saw for yesterday into today. This is going to take place from Tuesday into Wednesday, though. And it's going to push down across the, the central California coast and then come into our direction, hopefully not stalling anywhere along the way. This one could be moving through pretty quickly. Models differ in how much rain that could bring us, so we'll keep it just straightforward for now. Rain Tuesday into Wednesday. That's what we know. Here's the satellite radar view. A wider look at the greater Southern California area, bringing us just spotty showers across the board. We were the last to see those uh, heavier showers lighten up, but now that we have almost across the region is what we're going to be hanging on to for the rest of the day. Just these uh, light intermittent brief downpours of rain and you can see just how much rain we can expect along the way. So we'll lighten up a bit all the way through 8, 9, 10 a.m. And then you can see closer to just past noon. We'll see things across the coast dry up a bit more rain in Ramona and farther off to uh, about the southeast of Ramona and the mountaintop still picking up on some snow. Same situation into your evening. By the time we pass that evening commute, we will probably start to see more showers pass through and then 6, 7, 8 p.m. start to see things calm down. Uh, temperatures, as far as your forecast highs go, are going to be cooler than where they were yesterday, but they are not quite as cold as earlier in the week. We're sticking with upper 50s for the most part, 57 from Oceanside down through Del Mar. Alpine making it to 50. Palomar, 33 degrees. Here's the eight day, though. The good news on here, Saturday and Sunday, both bright, shiny days. Monday, good amount of cloud cover before that next round of showers comes. And then it looks like Thursday, Friday of next week, we're drying out quite a bit. Same situation off toward the mountains and the deserts. Cooler temperatures, of course, especially overnight, sub-freezing. And then 70s across the deserts for early next week. Another round of showers, like we mentioned, Tuesday into Wednesday, which will bring snow to the mountaintops.